Amen. And uh, very, very welcome, brethren, to this day again of sharing from our daily menu, the Word of God. Welcome so much um, as you are welcome in the house of the Lord. The Word of the Lord is life. And so I welcome you indeed. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Loving Father, in the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you that have given us yet another opportunity to interact with your word, which is life and which is light. Pray the Lord you bless us as we share on this very important uh, topic, the wise shall shine in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Brethren, I come with a topic that comes from the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 3. And I read straight away from the word of God. And this verse 3 from Daniel chapter, I mean verse 3, Daniel chapter 12, the Bible says, And those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the, of the sky above, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. And so this is the word of the Lord that I come to share with you today, that those who are wise shall shine, shine like the firmament, like the uh, elements in the sky. And so I come to ask you to think through the word wisdom and wisdom that leads to shining. And the reason why the man called Solomon in the Bible, actually the Bible talks about him as a, what the wisest of all that ever lived during his time. And remember in First Kings chapter 3, the Lord God appeared to him. And the first thing that the Lord asked him, ask Solomon, what is it that you want me to do for you? And Solomon made mention of how God had been so gracious to his father David in leading the people of Israel. And so he says, these are a great people that have given me to lead. And so the one thing that I ask you, Lord God, is that give your servant a wise and discerning heart that he will be able to lead these great and wonderful people. So brethren, Solomon saw the secret of wisdom in order to shine, in order to make um, uh, decisions that are prudent. Solomon knew that wisdom is the matter wisdom wisdom is a quality wisdom is the attribute and so the reason why i come to share about this that solomon um picked in his life that give your servant a discerning and a wise heart and so the man daniel makes a prophecy here and he mentions that those who are wise shall shine like the stars in the firmament. And you know, Solomon did great things during his time. And the first thing that he did that made him shine was the judgment of the other case, where there were two prostitutes who were arguing about the baby that was living. And I don't want to take a long time about it, but you have heard it, you know it, that the man, the these women came with a child and they wanted the man to judge the case. And that was his first case after we read about him getting the wisdom in chapter 3 of First Kings. And so uh, he judges the case and that case brought about fame that he started shining and that he, people, many people got to know him because of the wonderful case that he, I mean, the judgment that he passed. And so friends, the wise shall shine. And even during our generation, look around and see how people conduct themselves. Look around and see how people carry themselves. Wisdom is the virtue that is becoming very, very, very minimal. We know that actually we have head knowledge, 
people can reason things. And the reason why I am able to mention this, because wisdom is marked by deep understanding. First, deep understanding. Wisdom is marked by discernment. Wisdom is marked by capacity for sound judgment. Wisdom is out of experience and you are able to have understanding, deep understanding. And so during our time, this generation that we are living, God is calling us to exercise deep understanding of the times. God is calling upon us to exercise discernment of the times. God is calling upon us to exercise capacity for sound judgment. And so, my brethren, this wisdom is very, very important, something that all of us desire. Those who are leaders in authority, those who are the led, and when I talk about leaders in authority, I am mentioning, I bring in the first leaders are the parents, daddy, mommy, and you, first sons, first daughters, you lead the way. Church leaders, pastors, name them. Those who are in the political arena are leaders. And so Solomon knew the secret that actually wisdom is deep understanding, discernment, something that I will desire, so that you are able to make judgment of the things that are around you. So Daniel makes mention and says that the wise shall shine, shall shine like the brightness of the sky. And how I call upon us, I call upon you to exercise wisdom. And what is the source of wisdom? The source of wisdom, the Bible says that wisdom comes from the Lord, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And Solomon knew it. That is only why when God appeared to him, the first thing that he asked was, give your servant a wise and discerning heart. You daddy, you mommy, you son, you daughter, whoever is minding to listen to this, God calls upon you to exercise wisdom. Many, many people have knowledge and the knowledge comes, uh, knowledge is the things, exactly the things that we do daily, the things like the information that we get into ourselves through the five senses. You know, on the human body, there are five senses. There is a sense of hearing, yes, you, what you breathe, what you, what you take in, the sense of smelling, the sense of uh, seeing, the sense of, um, the sense of uh, taste, and finally the sense of, um, uh, the, the, the other one, the sense of, uh, of feeling by the skin. And so we bring in the information, and that is knowledge. And the way you utilize this knowledge to do great and wonderful things is wisdom. And so wisdom comes by the way of experience. And so, friends, the Bible is, we are being called upon. Young people, let me address myself to you, that you need wisdom as you go about with your life. Some people go about reckless life, reckless living, doing funny things, doing bad things, and with, under, the, under the guise of being wise, of, of being knowledgeable. But wisdom is a virtue that I'm calling upon you, and comes, it is actually, it is attached to the fear of the Lord. You who fear God, wisdom is the virtue during this soiled generation. The way people talk things, the way people act out, the way people behave does not show wisdom in their life. And so I just want to make mention of some of the, some Bible verses that why you need wisdom. Wisdom is better than rubies. And this is mentioned in Proverbs 8, 11. Why do you need wisdom? Number two, it is much better to get wisdom than gold. And this is stated in Proverbs 16, 16. Now, brethren, wisdom helps to understand what is right and what is wrong in God's sight. And that's why you need it. And so number three, another verse that I want to give you, Ecclesiastes 7, 12, wisdom gives life to those who have it. And I just want to encourage, and I'm excited about wisdom 
that it gives life. Do you need life? Be wise. Hallelujah. Just be wise. That is what Ecclesiastes 7, 12 is saying. Wisdom gives life to those who have it. Wisdom, another one is wisdom strengthens the wise more than 10 rulers of the city. Ecclesiastes 7, 19. Yes. And so you need wisdom to be strong. During this COVID time, we know we have had challenges, but you need it to be strengthened. Poverty is so high. You need to be strengthened. Well, very many things have happened. You need to be strong. Sicknesses of what various kinds. You need to be strong. And wisdom will strengthen you because wisdom is the fear of the Lord. And then wisdom is better than weapons of war. Hallelujah. And people need wisdom. And I just wanted to mention a few of these. And um, one other little thing that I want to finish up with is Ecclesiastes 8, the Bible says, Wisdom brightens a man's face. Yes, a man's face brightens because of the, the wisdom. And so, happy is a man. Happy is a woman. Happy is a child. Happy is everyone who finds wisdom. My brothers and sisters, I just wanted to come in simplicity with this message about wisdom that Daniel is talking about. Of course, it's about talking about shining. And my other interest was in shining. And the shining is when, um, of course, darkness is driven away and you brighten it up. And so how I pray that this message brightens you up with wisdom that comes from the Lord. And so that you live a life which is full of joy. A life full of brightness. And young man, younger woman, daddy, mommy, whoever, your wisdom bring, brings brightness in the house. If you find a child who is brighter, there is joy. And the one that the Bible says, actually, a, a, a clever child brings joy to the, to the father, yes, to the mother, or whoever, the parent. Let me just put it, to the parent. And so when you do nice things, when you do things well, you are, you are a husband and you do things well. You, you bring joy in the house. You are a wife. You bring, do things well with the wisdom. You bring joy in the house. You are a son. You are a daughter. You do things well with wisdom. You bring joy in the house. But if you are a child who breaks the things, who destroys the things, who does things wrong, it is agony. And I want us to draw a line between foolishness and wisdom do nice things in the home, speak good things to others, and so that you live comfortably. And that is the message that I bring to you. Brethren, may God bless you and watch over you, that you live in wisdom, because wisdom brightens your face. May your house be brightened. May your workplace be brightened, because you are doing wise things, so that the others will enjoy your company. They enjoy being around with you, because you are doing things of wisdom. And so I pray that God, who is the fountain of wisdom, remains with you and blesses you today, that always and all time you remain doing things that please God and things that bring life to others, because wisdom brings life. In the name of Jesus, I thank God that he has given me this opportunity to say this and that you, you will remain uh, seeking for wisdom because wisdom brings life in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be blessed and stay well during this during the week and during the month that God who is the fountain of wisdom will keep guarding you. Amen. <music>